I'm Kurt Mueller from Target Partners in Munich, Germany. You may be asking, what's a guy from Germany doing here in New York? It's an excellent question. The answer is that I'm hopeful that some of you at some point, maybe now but maybe later, will want to come to Europe with your business and you'll want to have a venture capitalist based there to invest in your company because we can help you in our case, particularly in Germany, which is an interesting market in Europe, we can help you to find good people for your team there. We can help you to navigate the local environment and ecosystem there and ultimately help you be more successful there. Obviously, since we're based in Munich and our core business is early stage investing in technology companies, we might have some advice that would be helpful to you. So I'll just spend a few minutes talking about our firm, and again, I hope when the time comes for you to go to Europe, you'll think of me. We are a 14-year-old venture fund. We have about 300 million euros under management. In all those years, we've seen over 10,000 business plans and have done 32 investments. So I like to say we're not called spray and prey partners. We're called target partners for a reason. We like to be very selective. What it is we're looking for is the list that's been made here before. There's one item that isn't on the list, which includes management teams and interesting big markets and growth metrics and defensible technologies and all the things that you're aware of and have heard of. But there's one that I'd like to mention because before I got into venture capital, I was an entrepreneur myself. I built a software company over a 12-year period as the CEO of that company. I was successful. I got money from venture guys, and I took the company public. I was the CEO of the company for six years after the IPO on NASDAQ. And I want to tell you one thing that you've got to bring to the party and find a way to get it across to these venture guys, and that is that you are persistent. Because there's going to be problems, most likely. I mean, the vast majority of the businesses we see have great looking business plans that go up and to the right. And the reality is, after this investment, the vast majority of those don't go up to the right. They kind of stay flat for a while, and the while can be pretty long. So I think you need persistence, and you need to be able to persuade the venture capital investment investor that this persistence is real and that you are not going to just fade at the first sign of problems. In my case, we started raising funds for my software company in 1980. Seven, just before the amazingly big stock market crash that most of you won't remember, but it was a, a, put a little bit of a damper on the whole idea of going out and raising money. We talked to a total of 88 venture capital funds, I remember, and uh, 87 of them turned us down. Uh, the one that said they would go with us put a big caveat on it. They said, we'll invest money, but we need to find a second investor because we don't want to do this alone. We need to spread the risk. It took us another nine months to find a second investor. We did find that investor. And I got to tell you, after we went public, I took tremendous enjoyment of going to cocktail parties and meeting some of the 87 investors that turned us down. Yeah. Please prove to us, and I think most investors will appreciate this a lot, that you are persistent in addition to having all those other up and to the right kind of statistics in your company. How am I doing on time here? Doing great. We got about a minute and a half. Minute and a half. Thank you. Um, just briefly, I think if I were an entrepreneur, which I was, I would do due diligence on these venture capitalists. You know, don't just take what it is they're telling you for the truth. Call up the CEOs of companies that they've invested in and ask them, what's it really like? You know, uh, you can say to them, I'm a persistent guy, but is this a persistent venture capitalist? You know, if you flip it around, and that's what we're doing today, capital on stage, you want to know that your venture capitalist is also going to be persistent, that when the times are tough, they're not going to turn tail. They'll put money in. We have a company in our portfolio. I guess I should be embarrassed to admit this, but I'm not. We invested in 2001. We had uh, in our first fund 105 million euros, and we've put over 22 million euros into this one company. Now, why did we do that? It's because we're persistent, and we really, really believe that this company is going to be successful at some point. 
who still believe that, by the way, and they just signed an order <laughs> to put their product into 600 customer sites, which if it comes to fruition, uh, would represent something like a 300 million revenue opportunity for this particular portfolio company. So we've been there for 13 years. We put more than 22 million in. Talk to the CEOs of these companies and say, what kind of a venture capitalist is it really? You know, That's my bell, I think. In any event, I'd be very happy to talk further at any of the breaks. Thank you very much.